Hello, welcome to Literary Life. So in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing for you a quarterly book subscription <clears throat> that I receive. This is from the Strand Bookstore in New York City. This is a very famous, well-known, well-known, which is the same as famous bookstore. Um, every quarter they have several di different genres you can pick from, but you get a highly anticipated new release book, sometimes even a second book, and then some bookish goodies. Um, so it's very fun, and um, this is only the second box I am receiving since I subscribed. So this is already looking a little bit better. Let's see, because last month's box, I'm pretty sure I got the store display version. <laughs> hastily thrown into the box. And like even my candle, it wasn't on. It was hilarious. All right, so this is looking cool. So we can see what we have inside. Um, so the first item are these coconut crisps. So it does seem like you always get a snack. And this is perfect. I've actually been, I'm using like coconut um, creamer now in my coffee. Um, so we have some sun-dried fruit um, and we get some fiber, no added sugar. It's keto friendly um, and it's skin on dried, unsweetened coconut. So I am really curious about trying these. Um, and here I'll hold it up um, with this information on the back for those of you that want to check that out. And then this is cute. We have a book club kit um, by Kikerland, and it is conversation prompt cards, time or die, book chart, and book of literary cocktail recipes. <laughs> I had a sneeze. <laughs> there it is there. <laughs> there it comes. I'll just hold this up while I sneeze behind it. Oh my God. It's so pollinated out there right now. I don't even think that's the right word, but there's just stuff floating through the air. I'm like not going outside, except I am because I'm meeting my friend tonight for dinner, which is exciting. Um, we have a couple of goodies inside. Happiness is reading a book and drinking tea. Here's a discount code. Oh, from your next purchase from Strand. Uh, so that'll be cool. I'll put that QR code up there. I, I don't know if it's controlled. It may be first come first serve if anyone can actually use it. Um, we have a card here from Nepal T and then I'll put that information up here as well for those that want to check it out. And then it looks like this is our little thing of tea. And it's a green tea by Nepal Tea, organic tea from the Himalayas. Um, and you stew it at 160 for three minutes. I love when they give you the directions like that. And then um, we have, ooh, the Strands Offering audiobooks. And it says here you can use this promo code, hook up two, to get two for one. Um, that's $14.99 for any two audiobooks when you join as a monthly member. And this is through their Libro. Um, account there for those that are interested. Okay, first of all, so we did get two books this month. <laughs> Guys, it has been, this is going to be hilarious. I have this book, so this is going to be another giveaway I love, which I'm fine with because I literally have 300 books sitting in this office waiting to be read, like no joke. Um, so yay. So if you're interested in this book, this is obviously a brand new copy. I just pulled it out of the box. Ask again. Yes, this is a really good book. I, I think I got it. I don't remember if it was book of the month club or I just picked it up, but comment below us and Canada only for subscribers of literary life. So hit that button and join us if you're a book fan. Um, cause I, I'm hoping to do as many giveaways as I can this year. But I'm in below, and then we'll say one week from today, so that'll be the 15th of June, 2021, I will pick the winner. I use a random number generator, and make sure you hit that notification bell because I will reply to your comment and let you know that you have won. Um, so I want to make sure you are aware. But this is the book that they selected for this month. And I was really excited about this one. And I didn't say this. I don't know if I did. But you do know which book you're going to get, at least with this one. This one was a surprise. Sometimes they have an add-on book. But with this book, um, you get they, they send out a spoilers email where you can look if you want to. And I always do so I don't pick it, you know, with like my book of the month club. Um, with Teeth by Kristen Arnett author of the New York Times bestselling Mostly Dead Things, which I loved that book. And I think I got that book through my Powell's Indispensable subscription. So we do get 
an author signed book plate. I'm just making sure there's nothing else in here. Um, so this is a hilarious and harrowing story of two mothers, one difficult son, and the challenges of marriage, parenthood, and love. And I will have a link below for those that are interested in just purchasing either of these books, as well as to the Strands um, book hookup subscription, of course. Um, if she's being honest, Sammy Lucas is scared of her son. Working from home in the close quarters of their Florida house, she lives with one wary eye on Samson, a sullen, unknowable boy who resists her every attempt to bond with him. Well, is this sounding familiar from a literary journey we just read? Uncertain of her own maternal instincts, she tries her best, cleaning, driving, cooking, prodding him to finish projects for school while growing increasingly resentful of Monica, her confident but absent wife. It's so funny because you always see like marital or relational tensions between the caregivers in situations like this, right? As Samson grows from feral toddler <laughs> to this early teenager, Sammy's life begins to deteriorate into a mess of unruly behavior, and her struggle to create a picture-perfect queer family unravels. When her son's hostility finally spills over into physical aggression, Sammy must confront her role in the mess and the possibility that the answers may be beyond her reach. Blending the warmth and wit of Arnett's breakout hit, Mostly Dead Things. And yeah, it, it's such, such a good book, you guys. Um, with a candid take on queer parenthood with teeth is a provocative portrait of the delicate fabric of family and the many ways it can be torn apart. That is sounding so good. So there is the um, author herself. And I'm telling you guys, Mostly Dead Things was such a good quirky but well written well developed Ugh, i'm really excited to read this all right so we have to we have to get going so we can read some books now <laughs> all right that is it as always if you get one of the strands book hookups let me know what genre you get i'm i just wish i could read more so because I, I they have a couple i would be interested in <laughs> but you know there's this whole full-time career thing going on too. But let's go do it. Let's go build our careers, build our lives, find happiness, and read some books. Happy reading.